hi everyone so welcome to this new video where i'm going to teach you a very exclusive video about how to identify important pins or ICs like vcc vn enable ground inputs outputs etc and without the schematic so stay tuned and do not miss any moment in this video and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my patreon page and i can be your mentor all links in the description and welcome to your comments and questions i always do my best to answer all comments so let's get started first let's understand some very important tips so in motherboard you're gonna find many color and dimensions like those here so the wide area like this means to ground okay the wide area means ground like this and here the bolts line okay like this one this one this one bold lines means voltage or power rails and the thin lines like those are for signals like enable on off clock shutdown signal etc okay good now let's analyze this ic for example so in this ic let's detect the ground the vcc and enable inputs and output signals so what is the ground to find first the ground you have to look for the wide area here the wide area that is connected to the ic this wide area is not connected this wide area here is connected do you see so this pin here is ground as you can see why because it is connected to this wide area and of course this is the ground what about the vcc or the voltage that power the ic or the working voltage for the ic we have to look for a bold line like this line for example here or this line etc and of course always the vcc will be connect, connected to a capacitor so here we have ground we have thin lines here we have this bold line connected to serum capacitors over here okay so here we have vcc this is basically the vcc about 5 volt but you can see that we have here other bold line so basically this side other boldness this is the output okay so the vcc could be 5 volt the as input as vcc and the output could be 2 volt 1.8 volt 3.3 volt etc and those signals here the those thin signals this is basically enable signals it could be enable clock shutdown signal power good etc please note that the difference here between this bold line this one and this one okay this is basically the difference of voltage here we have 19 volts this one 5 volt this one 3.3 volt so this line here connected to this wide area and we have point here this is basically a voltage when you find point it means the 19 volt here is divided or sent to eight places or eight circuits we have one two three four five six seven eight so this is voltage but this this is ground wide area here is ground so even in connectors you can know about the ground and the main voltage etc for example for battery connector here do you see this pin connected to this wide area here means here we have ground and this one as you can see connected to this bold part and we have ceramic capacitors means this is the high pin 
So we have serum capacitance connected to high P positive and to other side connected to the ground. Here we have the BIOS, for example, what do you know about the BIOS? Always in, in pin number 8, it holds 3 point travel. So here we have pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do you see? 8 connected to bold line. The only pin that is connected to bold line is pin number 8 that holds 3 point travel, but does hold clock, etc chip select clock at input output etc by the way i'm going to explain to you why we have here this kind of path like this why it's not straight why exactly we have this kind of path do you see basically here we have the bold or a very weight part this is ground here we have basically voltage as you can see this is voltage high voltage here we have a team path means we have signals like enable clock etc why exactly we have this kind of path like this it's not straight here we have to know that in motherboards and in microelectronic you have to know that the report signal time is very important for example this kind of line that is straight is different in terms of delay of course the delay with very with a microsecond so the report delay time is very important that's why for example we need this signal to be arrived in a very precise time that's why we have this kind of paths like this do you see for this IC for example always you can find bold lines for voltage for VCC working voltage tail line for data for clock outputs etc and of course other big line for ground in every IC you can find the same working principle so note that that the input voltage VCC or VIN must show a stable voltage always a stable voltage for ground pins always equal to zero volt and for output pins you gonna find always output pins are connected to a load or to other circuits like or chipsets like processor pch etc so even without diagrams you can spot the VCC pins by their wide trays from power source. The ground pins usually connected to wide ground planes like those here. Okay. And enable pins via teen tracks linked to AC or logic controls. And of course, you can use the multimeter in voltage mode or continuity mode smartly to measure each pin and look for voltage a stable voltage to know about inputs outputs for the ground we measure always zero volt and by using continuity mode you can track which pins connect to nearby capacitors resistors coils mosfets etc now i'm going to tell you a very professional tip when there is no output what you should check you should check the vcc if the vcc is present check enable signal shut down signal and check the capacitors around the ic for short circuit of course between the capacitor and the ground so I hope that you understand a little bit about ICs, how to identify the most important pins in all ICs like VCC, etc. So please don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video. And you're gonna find in the description a link for an article where you're gonna find all this information we have discussed in this video. And of course, if you want me as a mentor or if you want to accelerate learning, you can join my mentorship program, the link in the description. 
you are very welcome of course and see you in the next video